Um, hello, welcome to the Knit Witch Podcast. I'm Gabby and we're back with another episode of Podcast in My Car because I am ready super stupid early for work and I don't need to be there yet and I can't film at home. So, um, yeah. Welcome back if you're... wait. Start over. Uh, if you've been watching, welcome back. If you're not, welcome in. Man, I practiced this like a million times. Not even a million. I, I practiced this before I decided to start recording. Like in my head, I was just like, oh, what am I going to say? Um, and I always forget what I say. So I don't remember what I usually say. And now I'm just rambling because awkward intro so I'm gonna do a little bit here and then probably drive to work and do some there but yeah let's just get started I guess first thing I want to say is that I got an FO no oh my god I am just all over the place this morning I'm so sorry I got a an acquisition that I wanted to show you and I got it a while ago but then I never filmed again so I'm just gonna show it to you now but I got this uh, Jojo bag from uh, so if you guys watch Cozy Up Knits, uh, their mom makes bags and you can see her little logo and it's cute. But yeah, I got this bag. Sorry if the sun is weird, the lighting, it's morning and I'm parked in a weird place. So the lighting keeps changing. But yeah, I got this beautiful big all yellow bag on Etsy. I will link um, JoJo's Etsy shop in the description and then in the show notes and all that jazz like normal. But yeah, I got this awesome bag and all my most of my stuff that i've been working on isn't it not everything though but let's see i made a list of stuff so that i would remember to show you so i got the jojo bag and then i have a, another acquisition which is related to an fo just kidding not an fo a work in progress because i'm designing another thing for blue sky fibers slash with blue sky fibers yarn so I got a bunch of this lovely green stuff. This is, I believe it's Woolstock Light and it's in the color Earth Ivy. So it's like super pretty. I'm trying to, there you go. That's more true to color, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's really gorgeous, but I'm gonna make, I don't, I mean, it's not a surprise. I'm making, either it's gonna be a wrap or a stole or something and I have like this much of it. So it's, there's, not a lot to see here because I ripped it out. I'm trying to figure out numbers and a bunch of things, but yeah, it's blue sky fibers and it's a fingering weight, I guess. I'm really bad at remembering junk, but to be fair, they send it to me without any tags or anything. So I'm just like trying to remember based on when I requested this yarn. Um, I'll just put all the details, like the fiber content in the um, description and stuff because I don't remember if it's 100% alpaca or something else. I don't remember what the blend is. So there's that. So that's one acquisition and a work in progress. Let's see. <laughs> so I actually don't really have any knitting FOs other than my pattern came out. I guess that counts. <laughs> it's knitting related FO if documents count as finished objects. And that one the Mamatis shawl, it's a triangle, corner to corner shawl. Maybe I'll insert a picture, probably not, because I'm lazy and I don't want to edit too much. So I definitely will link it below and you can buy it. It's purchasing through Ravelry, but if you don't have an account, you can still buy it. There's even a, there's a link on my website too, and it just takes you to like a PayPal checkout thing. So I never get your card information, but you get the PDF emailed to you and junk, yeah. So I recommend it. Please buy it. Thank you in advance. Um, if you don't, that's fine too, but I appreciate you. Yeah, it's been really cool. I want to uh, really thank, first I want to thank Anna from the Bluebird Box for being such a great help um, with tech editing and stuff like that because I've never had anyone else like tech edit 
So like she asked me if I had someone tech edit it and I was like, what's that? So <laughs> thank you, Anna, um, for giving me your support there and for also test knitting because that's awesome. Thank you to all my other test knitters. You guys are amazing and your products turned out fabulous. And I really like seeing the colors that everyone picks out because like I'm not adventurous with my colors, uh, like my color palette, I guess. And when it's multiple colors, it's really hard for me to choose what actually goes well together. So thanks guys for doing what I can't and picking colors that match well other than, so mine, just to give you context if you've never seen it, it's a three color shawl. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you can make it however you want, but uh, the point was to be like a three color, it's not really a fade, not really a gradient. I don't know, three colors that fade but not super like it's not gonna be like an Andrea Maori okay it's nothing that fancy and cute it's just they transition into the next color um, instead of just being solid blocks of color it, there's a little bit of overlap but yeah mine was just like an all gray like different tones of gray palette if that makes sense so it was like light medium dark instead of being like some people that tested it used skeins of yarn that were like two solid colors and a speckle or something like that and I think that's really awesome because I'm always scared to try things like that because I don't just don't know how it's gonna turn out and I don't want to put in a bunch of effort making something if then it's not gonna turn out well you know so I don't I don't know I don't know anyway there's that so that's the only like fo and then sorry this is super messy but you know that's just how it's gonna be today so um Oh, uh, I can show you, let's see. The rest of the things I'm gonna show you are all like half finished. So yeah, so this may look completely finished, but um, it's not, here we go. The sun is gross, but just a little peek. It's overexposed, but whatever, you get the idea, it's a headband. But uh, it looks like it's completely finished. I say it's only half finished because I'm working on a headband design that's gonna come out later this year. Not with this yarn, this is just kind of my draft and figuring out sizing and stuff, but yeah, so it's half finished because one, it's not the right size, and two, uh, it's not the right yarn. But stay tuned for that, because there will be a headband coming your way at some point this year. If you're curious, this yarn is just, it's from the Dollar Store, and like, what's it called, Dollar Tree? It's Premier Just Yarn, and I don't even know what color it is, just the tan one, yeah that's fun I don't yeah sorry I keep looking around because this one guy is walking around I'm I'm parked at a park I'm not near my house or anything and this one person is taking their like morning walk and exercising but they keep looking at me because I'm talking to myself and I probably look nuts but you know that's fine Um, that's just the way it's got to be and I'm just watching someone else it's really lively in this part of town that's funny. Anyway, next, moving on, I have, oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. My other thing that's half finished, this one, it's half finished because, so, <laughs> if you're aware, I guess, if you've been watching my videos or following me on social media and Ravelry and stuff, you know that I started a mid along, so the knit, the, the knit mid a lot. I don't I don't know what I called it. I'll put it on the screen. I have no idea what the hashtag is. I just saved it and also I mean I wrote it. Ah no no I remember it's the mitt witch along because I'm weird. The point was to make a bunch of mittens because my hands have been really cold and guess what? I've made a total of one one mitten. Um and it's only I mean it can be left or right hand, it doesn't matter, but I've only made one and mittens come in pairs, so you see my problem here. I just have one. And I mean, it's really nice. It's the Lambing Mitt by, okay, the pattern is Lambing Mitts by Veronica Job. I think I, that's how you say her name. I'm using a uh, Shastari traditional collection in natural white. And uh, it's like, so you can um, have it down with this like cuff thing down to keep your fingies warm, or you can roll it back so that you can like, it's too sunny but you know roll it back so that you can like do more stuff yeah the pattern's really great I think I made I think I made um I made a size medium 
and I need to make a small, I'm pretty sure, because it's a little bit too big, but, and like if I get them wet, um, it'll loosen up and stuff. So I think I need to make the smaller size, but I really like the pattern. It's easy, it's quick. Um, it's, I told you um, for the mid along, you can do basically anything that goes on your hands, <laughs> like to warm your hands. So it could be fingerless mitts, fingerless gloves, mittens, actual gloves, whatever you want, hand accessories that cover, you know, the fleshy, chunky bits. And yeah, so far I've only made one, so I need to, you, I haven't even cast on the second one, so I should, I should get on that, because the middle long ends when um, summer starts, basically, I think. Is that what I did? Shoot. I'm terrible at remembering things. Uh, I will also put that on the screen the day that it ends. I think it ends in the last day of May. I know technically summer doesn't start to like the solstice, I think, but you know, whatever. Last day of last day of May, I think, is when I said is our last chance. So we still have plenty of time. I just I haven't felt like knitting. So I wasn't working on anything for a really long time. And then I just started working on lots of random projects, but I'm not super invested in any of them. So you see what the problem is. <laughs> yeah, so I have that that I need to work on. And then I have one bigger project that I've been working on and I would say I'm almost almost done I have this let's see it's in my purse to take to work I don't knit at work um, I only did during like holiday season because there was literally nothing to do but um, when we're busier like any other time I don't knit at work because I don't I don't know. I'm, I could because I, you know, can multitask and also I don't need to look when I'm knitting. So in slow periods, I totally could. But, you know, people always interpret that as like you're not actually doing anything because you just look leisurely, I guess. But I'm working on the Moonset Tea by Ozetta. And I started this project because I watch Arrow Knits and Pearls and I think she made it. I think that's where I saw it. Um, so that's what, how I got the idea to even start working on this. So I have gotten to now, so it's like a v-neck pullover thing, and I'm just working on the body now. So I need to do like 11 inches of body, and then I will be done with the body and can do the sleeves. I'm gonna probably make the sleeve shorter than the pattern called for. I did edit the pattern a bit because I'm using, did I even swatch? No, but I'm using different yarn than what the pattern called for, like different um, weight of yarn. Mm, I'm using a DK weight, it's Nutmeg Fibers Meadow in the color Natural, but whatever the pattern called for, I think it was thinner. So I, I'm using the, I think it's what, it, US 3? I'm using US 3, which is 3.25 millimeter. I'm using those needles for the actual, like the whole thing. And that's what the pattern calls for, but I sized down. So I'm making the smallest size. And then because my gauge isn't the same as what it should be, like the pattern will say, oh, do this like set instructions, like these two rows, like 20 times so that your piece measures 14 inches or something. And because my yarn is thicker than what the pattern calls for, I'm actually, instead of doing it like 20 times, I'll do it like 15 or something because that's when it reaches the, the length that the pattern wants you to be at. So I've been cheating <laughs> just to make the pattern work for me. Yeah, I just, I never follow what a pattern tells me to do because I guess I like making my life more difficult, but hey, hopefully I don't run out because I had two skeins of this yarn from Nutmeg Fibers and all I have is this. So if I don't have enough, wow, everything's so blown out. God, that's so annoying. Um, yeah, all I have is this left. So if I don't have enough, I just don't have enough and we'll see what happens. Cause the only, I have another two skeins from them, but it's a different color. It's like a, a light gray instead of just natural like bone kind of white color. Can you see that? There we go. Instead of this color, it's still blown out a lot, but you, you get what I mean. 
So hopefully I don't run out. I think I'll be fine just because um, I just have to do the body and then the sleeves don't need to be super long. They're already, they're kind of like a drop sleeve. So they're already like here. I could always just pick up and like bind off or something and that would be completely fine. Like maybe knit a row and then bind off or I don't know. I can adjust to make it work. So I think I'll be good. Moonset tea. Moonset Tea by Ozetta. I really, the pattern's really weird. <laughs> it's not bad, it's just a weird construction because you do like one half <clears throat> and then the other half and then connect the v-neck in the front and it's interesting. But I, I, I don't know, I like it. Would I knit it again? I'm not sure, but I like it well enough, it's all right. I think if I made it again, I would try it with yarn that gets me better gauge so I could actually follow the pattern. But, I don't know, I'm not picky, I just was like, what can I make with this yarn that I have in my stash? And that was a thing I could do, hopefully. I just guessed, I don't know if I have enough yarn, like I said, so yarn chicken, here we come. <laughs> okay, let's see, let me check my list. Okay, acquisitions, Jojo bag and BSF yarn, FOs, none, whips, BF BSF design, that is itty bitty, uh, lambing mitt, singular <laughs> moonset tea and then the last thing i have to talk about wow i thought this was going to take a lot longer but yeah the last thing i have to talk about is spinning so i have well i say i have been working on it i mean i started working on this like november maybe and I've been taking really long breaks in between just because it's so much to spin. As a beginner, it's so much for me to do what I'm trying to do, like spin thinner yarn. It just takes a lot of time for me. So it takes me, I don't know, really long time to get motivated to do it. But I had been working on that merino nylon blend from, uh, what you call it? The Fiberists, that multicolor, like white with rainbow in it. And I finally finished the first bobbin. So this is two ounces. Um, can you see that? Hello? There we go. This is two ounces of merino and nylon. And it's so pretty, but I now need to do the other two ounces. <laughs> took me several months to just do this so I need to do the other bobbin and then um let me focus on my face again sorry I need to do the other bobbin and then ply them together and this when I use my like little measurement tool thing I, I haven't done that in a while so I don't remember <laughs> so bad I don't remember how thick this actually is like I did a ply back test and I think it came out as either fingering or DK. So hopefully I can ply the second bobbin the same so that when I ply them together, ply. hopefully I can spin the second bobbin the same so when I ply them together, I'll have a fingering weight. And most of it I think was fingering and then there were a couple spots where I was like, oh, that might be borderline lace. And I'm like, oh geez. But considering this is the first really thin yarn that I've spun, I'm happy about it and I really hope that um that it turns out because this took a million years so i just and look at it it's so pretty look at those colors i just i don't even have an idea of like what to um i don't have an idea of anything to even knit with this but i just hope that i can make something out of it because it is fabulous and here's the bag one more time this I really like it. I don't know. I like the flower motifs. It kind of reminds me of like traditional beadwork and um, just like general, I don't know, designs that's on like Anishinaabe regalia and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was pretty. So I bought it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that's it. Uh, my car's been on this whole time because it's cold. So I had the heat on. So I'm just wasting battery and gas. I have nothing else to do at like 8 in the morning. I'm on the late shift, so I still wake up for the early shift sometimes. Um, and also people in my house are noisy, so I just wake up earlier and then 
I'm just like, wow, I have nothing to do. So I decided to film because when I get home, it's either too dark, which right now, yeah, it would be too dark, or um, just it's too busy, like stuff going on in my house, or I'm too tired. So all those things mean I don't record as much. And I really appreciate how y'all said last time, last time that I did a car episode, everyone's like, don't be hard on yourself. It's okay if you record in the car. Thank you for still trying to bring us content. And I'm like, thank you for still wanting to watch me rand uh, ramble about random knitting stuff while I'm just waiting to go do grown-up business <laughs> yeah so that's all I got for updates right now and and if I do anything else I'll let you know and I'll record some more but hopefully this video will go out soon I kind of have plans this weekend to get a piercing so if I'm not too busy doing that and hanging out with my friends then maybe I'll edit this and try to upload it this weekend just because I've been pretty quiet on the- oh! I don't know how I could even forget to mention this, but yeah, because I haven't been posting it really anywhere because life happens, I haven't mentioned, I guess, anywhere, I don't think- I don't remember. I was- I kept being like, oh, we're so close to a thousand subscribers, we're so close, blah blah blah. We reached a thousand subscribers in February, which thank you so freaking much, that means so much to me and that's so awesome and I'm so glad that you guys watch because I don't know, I just do this because I'm bored and I like talking about knitting and making stuff and I haven't been watching knitting podcasts recently but I still, I mean I'll catch up eventually on what I can and I still like seeing everyone's finished object photos and all that kind of stuff so I'm so glad that you guys take the time out of your day to sit and either knit with me or just watch etc and I appreciate you so much thank you so much because now I think we're at like a thousand twenty so we're even we passed a thousand and I can't believe it because when I started this channel I mean it's never it's not about the subscribers or views that's not why I started it I just started it because I was bored and I was like sure why not so just the fact that this many people care to watch is really cool and unexpected and I just wanted to say thank you um yeah I don't know so thanks <laughs> um one other thing I wanted to say just to get the general junk announcement junk away at least two more patterns coming out this year so stay tuned for those I just also wanted to say thank you to the Kofi donors the people who give me donations on Kofi or coffee however you want to say it the ko-fi website if you've ever donated to me before thank you so much I really appreciate your donations and that money goes back into this podcast for me to either buy yarn or buy um, prizes for giveaways and um, like the middle long and stuff like that so thank you very much and uh, also just I appreciate you tipping me for my video efforts because sometimes it's not easy recording videos honestly just it's not easy either like getting in front of the camera or putting that time away to actually edit because it takes hours to edit and then upload and then takes a while for me to type out everything for posting not just in the description but then in my blog post that has the show notes and then also I try to make uh, Ravelry, Ravelry posts that have the show notes which are my Ravelry group, our Ravelry group um, for this podcast. It's not super lively usually so I mean I try to still post the show notes there but I don't think people really use Ravelry that much at least not with me so I don't know just I appreciate you donating to the efforts because I don't know who actually reads any of these things that I'm posting so I just appreciate that you know it's taking t like a chunk of time out of my day or weekend whenever I'm editing and stuff so thank you for that and yeah thanks for watching thank you for joining me I'll see you next time or if I I might record if I can I might record a section of just like knitting like do you know I don't want to say ASMR but I guess I don't know like knitting with like low background music or something just because sometimes I know people like to sit and knit while they watch or do or watch videos of like knitting because it's calming or just like sit and knit with videos playing in the background just as filler so maybe I'll start trying to record that it's just really hard for me to record when I knit because I don't have anything to prop up my phone like as an overhead view to see my hands so maybe I'll try figuring that out, but I don't know, but stay tuned. I'm gonna drive to work now, so I'll see you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, bye.